In principle, creative tasks seem to be uniquely human. But in practice, weak forms of artificial intelligence are becoming new sources of creativity. AIs can now generate synthetic photographs, text, and videos using techniques such as generative adversarial networks or GANs. The rise of artificial creativity has motivated various debates. The ability of AI to create content has fueled an active debate about copyright, with arguments in favor and against the idea of assigning copyrights to algorithms or their creators. The use of deep fake videos, which can be used to put words in someone else's mouth, is raising concerns about the veracity of online content and the potential manipulation of political campaigns. Deep fakes can be used to create content resembling the appearance and voice of famous politicians, as well as blending someone's face onto pornographic material. As a result, the creative and media industries are now in a digital arms race between the tools that make synthetic content and those designed to detect. But the creativity of AI is not only limited to images. The people working on creative AI are also exploring the creation of text. Platforms such as Literary, Botnik, or Shell AI gather communities of people who use artificial intelligence to create literary content. As the capacity of these technologies continues to improve, we will encounter a world where AIs will become part of creating teams, providing creative input to artists and creative directors. Our creative future may involve choosing among countless options generated by algorithms that are programmed to seek our approval. This revolution not only will affect visual arts and literature, but is already reaching other domains, like the use of creative AIs to create new recipes, generate data visualizations, and compose music. But how will we judge our new creative companions? Will we give them a seat at the writer's table? Will we allow them to be as expressive as they can be? Or will we censor them relentlessly? In the next scenarios, we ask how do people judge AIs that are lewd, disrespectful, or blasphemous? How tolerant are we towards creative AIs? Do we punish them more severely than humans who have committed the same transgressions?